Everybody, welcome to Sunday afternoon. I'm heading off to Greensboro, North Carolina, back to the Honda Jet Factory. Single pilot today. My good friends at Turbine Aircraft Logistics made sure that I've got some maintenance scheduled and I've got some upgrades scheduled uh, that the factory is going to do. So. Plane's going to be back at the Honda Jet Factory in Greensboro for a couple of weeks, and I'm going to be heading off to ATP in Dallas to work on my ATP radio. Left engine fire. Right engine fire. Okay, on left and right. condition clear. Temperature zero seven Celsius. Dew point minus one one Celsius. Altimeter three zero one five. Hostage six eight two take a mic to Dunn clearance. Good afternoon. This will be a full route clearance. You're clear to the Greensboro Airport via radar vectors to the Reed intersection. Romeo Echo Alpha Delta Echo R E A D E intersection. Indirect Lynchburg VOR, the Lima Yankee Hotel, LYH VOR. Then join the Hemby 3, that's the Hotel Echo November Bravo Yankee 3 arrival. Climb maintain 2000. Expect uh, flight level 280, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 126.75. Squawk 6516, hold for release. Uh, two chains of mic, pun entering control airspace, direct read, club maintain 4000. Your release for departure clearance void is not off in five minutes. Okay, up to 4000, direct read, and I've got five minutes for two chains of mic. Fishville County traffic on the jet 682, Tango Mike, taking runway 334, IFR departure to the southwest. Virginia Tech Montgomery, exit 114. Okay, runway 33 is confirmed. Area is clear. Takeoff power is selected. And achieved. Here we go. Good engines. Airspeed will high both sides. Here's the 80 knot cross check. V1, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Through 130, flaps are up. Power of takeoff back to MCT. Start my left turn towards Reed. Honda Jet 682 Tango Mike is left cross for departure runway 33 Chesterfield. Stopping approach, good afternoon. Honda Jet 682 Tango Mike 3500 for 4000 direct read. 682 Tango Mike, Potomac approach. Uh, Ident climbing in 1 2000. Ident up to 1 2 12000 2 Tango Mike. Tango Mike, go to contact three miles west of Chesterfield Airport. 
Richard Altimeter 3015, good afternoon. Good afternoon, 3015682, Tango Mike. There's 10,000, pitch down to 10. Under this, two Tango Mike contact, Washington at 118, 1875, have a good day. Uh, 1875, Honda Jet, two Tango Mike, good day, sir. Washington Center, good afternoon, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, 12,000, Trek Reed. November 682, Tango Mike, Washington Center, Roger, climb and maintain, 16,000, the Richmond Altimeter, 3016. Roger, Richmond Altimeter, 3016, Tango Mike, 16,000, Tango Mike, Washington Center, Roger, climb and maintain, 2, So as I said during uh, startup, I'm going down to the Honda Jet factory in Greensboro. Honda Jet Service Center. Um, I have just a couple of 3,000 feet to go. A couple of scheduled maintenance items to knock out, just little things, yeah. and I'm getting a couple of upgrades done to the jet that I'm pretty excited about. There's a brake upgrade, uh, there's logo lights on the vertical stabilizer, strut put into the nose baggage compartment. Up to 200, Honda Jet 2, Tango Mike. We talk about um, a company that I use called Turbine Aircraft Logistics. Uh, they track all the maintenance and all the performance on the aircraft. Got a little device plugged in, a USB charger that talks to the G3000 that pulls data. It's called, uh, we are through transition altitude. It's called an air sync. That sends flight data back to Turbine Aircraft Logistics on every flight. I also get a copy of that, which is great to see. So Turbine Aircraft Logistics, look, give me a heads up that I had a couple of maintenance items due and they scheduled my trip o over to Greensboro. I still talk to the folks at Honda Jet who are, are fantastic. Um, it's just nice to have that bespoke service to watch the aircraft and keep track of all the little details. Try to plan my fuel really carefully on this flight. If you all watched the video that I did uh, on, on my flight to Tortola, I'm going to try to put a link up for the flight to Tortola. I had a very odd um, fuel indication, so I want them to take a look at that while it's here. And for whatever reason, for whatever reason they need to get the fuel tanks, I don't want a ton of extra fuel in there. So I plan it carefully, knowing that I'm going to have a very a strong headwind on this flight. Right now I've got 115 knots right in the nose. And a 20 knot left crosswind. And by the time this goes up, I would have had all three parts of my anatomy of a flight out. Um, part two is going to be a little delayed because I'm heading off for eight days to Dallas, Texas to do some training. Our 460 off, climb maintain level 260. 260, Cisco. Thought I was going to have. Part two done today, but I did not. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the cameras off until we're hitting the arrival because it's just going to be droning along here for a little bit. All right, two Tango Mike, 20 is going to be your final for Green Road today. Two Tango Mike. Okay, welcome back. We got a shortcut, got cleared directly to Greensboro, which is what I had filed for to begin with. Going to Greensboro. 20,000 feet. Got the weather there. They're landing five left and five right. So they should start descending me here pretty quickly. We've got about, well, we're about 70 miles from the airport. One thing I will say is that I've really appreciated the uh, engagement with the community uh, with comments and questions. That helps. Uh, I changed around. Camera set up. Got away from some of the mounts that I was using. He went to fix mounts, and that's helped a little bit. Uh, you all have been really good about making suggestions and recommendations, and so I'm trying those out. One thing I haven't been able to figure out is I get a lot of questions about my time flying in the military and where America, we came, where we came up with Blue Max 6. 
trying to find about the best way to the best way to share all that. I like this to be about the aircraft and the flying. Air one nine or five zero zero descend and maintain one two yeah one two thousand the. The Blue Max story is actually a good one, not because of me, but because of the history of the unit and the men and women who have been a part of that. So we'll find a way to share that. For me, this was always about my dad being in the cockpit on flights. He's at an age and stage right now where curling up in a ball to slide into the right seat isn't as fun as it used to be, so a few cameras and some audio just to let him fly along. I wildly underestimated how difficult it would be to edit you know, four or five different cameras together with audio, get them synchronized, have the different cuts. I will say the software is good, but it's far from intuitive, and I'm very grateful that I have a wife America, who's willing to spend the time to figure it out and and help uh, get those Mike things Echo, done. She makes it a lot more fun. 60 miles from Greensboro, I can see it now. I doubt you can pick it up with the camera. So landing in Greensboro, dropping the plane off at the service center, getting a ride over to the commercial side of the airport, and I hope I can get there in time to catch my flight to Dallas. North 52 Tango Mike Cross, 30 miles northeast of Raleigh, correct, uh, 30 miles northeast of Greensboro, I think 10-1-0-thousand, Greensboro, up to 30 one Okay, 30 one from Greensboro at uh, one zero thousand. is that correct, for 2 Tango Mike? That's from 30 to the side at 10, for 2 Tango Mike. Okay, 30 to the side at 10,000, 2 Tango Mike. Center Skylab 101, climb with your 10 for 1 to 12,000 strike G. We use VNAV here. Set 10,000. 30. 10,000 MSI. So Skylab 101, climb with your 10.8 for 1 to 12,000. Skylab 101, walk to center, climb and maintain. So I put a point in 30 miles from Greensboro. Put 10,000 feet there. I executed VNAV. I have 10,000 dialed in. Hit the VNAV button. It, it, it is captured. It's in VNAV mode now, and it's going to descend me at the at the, at the exact right rate to have me right at 10,000 as I approach that 30 mile mark. Flaps to go on the approach. Number six eight two Tango Mike contact range for approach one two four point three five two four three five Honda Jet six eight two Tango Mike. Thanks, sir. Good afternoon, Greensboro, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike 16.6, descending 10,000 with Delta. Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, Greensboro Approach, altimeter 3015, runway 5 right. 3015, and I'll expect 5 right for 2 Tango Mike. All right, we American 1864, Greensboro Airport, 10 o'clock, 1-2 miles. Landing data. Airport, American 1864. We'll switch over to 5 American right. American 1864, roger, clear visual approach, runway 5 right, contact tower, 119.1, great day. Clear for individual five right switch to American 1864 Okay, five right is good. That's the long runway. Went ahead and loaded up the ILS for five right. The I'm absolutely, absolutely expecting the visual to five right. But I'm also anticipating I'm going to get a sign of fix that is going to be on this approach. So if that happens, I can fly directly to that fix. Okay, two tango mic turn right heading 235. Vector's down one. Right to 235 for two tango mics. It's a one degree right turn. Sanjay, two tango mic, turn right hitting 24. Right, 245, 682 tango mic. I said it's going to be a little snug getting in for my commercial flight to Dallas. But there's a lot of options, so. Not too, not too worried about it. We started getting down around 7,000 feet. We're starting to pick the mechanical turbulence up over the hills west of Greensboro. It is a windy day. Winds died down a, a good bit, but at 20,000, I had about 130 knot headwind. The training I'm doing out of Dallas is through the school called ATP. 
The rating I'm going for is the ATP Air Transport Pilot rating. Touch at 212, expect that about five miles out of my airspace. Okay. When you get type rated in a jet like the Honda jet, you are type rated to ATP standards. So had I done the academic work, if I had done the work prior to going through the type rating, I would have been given my ATP rating. 500 or below for the train for two Yankee, thank you. When I took that and passed that check ride. But I had not done that, so I'm setting myself up for So when I go for a recurrent, I'll automatically, I've done the academics, I've taken the written test, and I'll be set to get my ATP rating at my next check ride. I'm rated as a commercial helicopter pilot. I'm a private airplane. So even though type rated to ATP standards, I, I don't have an ATP certification. So I wanted to knock that out. I talked to several other talked to several other pilots and they all recommended ATP for this. I've never worked for them before. They have a great reputation. I like flight safety, obviously for the Honda jet training. I will s hopefully be able to say hi to a few of those folks as I pull here into Greensboro. Jet 212, That's where I got my type rating with flight, flight safety. They have We're looking two sims jet, there uh, and then one over in England. I'm Jet 2 Tango Mike, turn left heading 190. Left 190, 682 Tango Mike. There we go. Let's bring it through. 817 Bravo Kilo, 7500. November 817 Bravo Kilo, Greensboro Approach. Should say again your altitude, showing you 9,500. Sorry, 9,500. Is that Jet 212? Report your base. Traffic is a uh, Airbus 321, uh, 12 southeast your position. Uh, Chagard, I see you in the base now. Contact Winston Tower, 123.75. Great day. Winston Tower, thank you very much. Jet 212. I'm Jet 2 Tango Mike, center maintain 4,000. Out of 4,000, 2 Tango Mike. Gemini 107, Greensboro Airport, 1 o'clock, 1 5 miles. Okay, we're, we're gonna go direct to Pagan for now until we get... Thousand feet. Get some traffic slide right below me. City of Winston-Salem, right outside my right window. Greensboro approach, November 565, Tango Foxtrot. I'm Jet 2, Tango Mike, traffic to follow, 10 o'clock and 8 miles, north eastbound, Airbus 321, 3000. Two Tango Mike. I'm Jet 2 Tango Mike, to maintain 3,000, turn left heading 140. Out of 3,000, left turn to 140, 2 Tango Mike. Greensboro departure, 8427, Charlie heading 9,000 feet. 090 at 2600. I'm sorry, calling Greensboro, say again. 27, Charlie, just uh, I came out of uh, 3-2 at uh, zero, 0-9-0 zero heading at 2800. I'm Jed, 2 Tango Mike, Greensboro Airport, 10 o'clock and 1-2 miles. Your traffic to follow is uh, 10 to 11 o'clock at 8 miles, Airbus 3000. Field site, Tallahill on traffic, 682 Tango Mike. I'm Jed, 2 Tango Mike, follow that traffic, clear visual approach, runway 5 right, caution. Clear for the visual, 5 right, 682 Tango Mike. I'm Jed, 2 Tango Mike, contact tower, 119.1, great day. 19.1, 2 Tango Mike. Power Honda Jet 682 Tango Mike, visual 5 right. Honda 682 Tango Mike, Greensboro Tower, runway 5 right, clear to land, wind, let's see, 3007. 3007, clear to land, 5 right, 682 Tango Mike. Alright, slowing down for the approach. Knots. Approach flaps are coming in. Up to 2461 tower, Roger. Have you roll in just a minute. Traffic at two mile final. So manually flying this approach. I have ILS guidance, but flying the visual. Setting myself up for rough airspeed now, otherwise fully configured and stable. One of the questions I get a lot is about landing this plane, and unlike like a piston single, you don't stall this airplane onto the runway. You fly it onto the runway, so you don't flare. 
You fly the ref speed. 500. Fully configured. You fly it right onto the runway. So the wing is still flying as you're touching down. So you're having to manage that lift as part of touchdown. Okay, five right is confirmed. Goddamn's coming off. Minimums. Minimums. Continue. Come on, ref. Glide slope. Course. So it seems a little abrupt, but power's to idle. Fly it onto the runway. Power's off. Speed brakes extended. Maintain directional control. And then max braking. So very different than landing typical general aviation aircraft. Tower 2 Tango Mike's going to Honda Service Center. Tower 2 Tango Mike, roger. Right turn at, uh, let's see, Mike 4 there in ground point niner. Right at Mike 4, ground point niner, 682 Tango Mike. Greensboro, Tower Skyhawk, 287. Ready for taxi. Switch to ground. After landing checklist. Ground Honda Jet 682 Tingle Mike is Mike 4 for the Honda Jet service ramp. Number 682 Tingle Mike, Greensboro Ground, taxi to Honda via left turn on Mike. Left on Mike to the ramp, 682 Tingle Mike. All right, back at the mothership. I like coming here. It is amazing what right here uh, Honda Aircraft Company was able to accomplish. And they're continuing to innovate, which is phenomenal. They've just released the Elite 2, which is the next version of this platform. They're working on the Adajet 2600, which is a, a much larger um, version of this. Same over-the-wing engine mounts. But... My plane has a homing beacon for this place. I've been able to go in and see a little bit of what they do, but a lot of their process is proprietary, and obviously during COVID it wasn't easy just to have people coming in and out of the factory where they're building. The other thing that's really cool is these engines, you know, where they said, hey, we want to come up with something a little bit different, and Honda and GE came together and formed a company, the Honda GE Aircraft Engine Company, and so as a separate company, are building the engines not too far from here, so they are getting assembled and then coming, bringing over and uh, getting installed here. But from a turbine engine perspective, how well they perform and how uh, robust they are is incredible. So efficient, quiet, and you know, knock on wood, bulletproof. All right, all right, all right. Greensboro ground, Cherokee 8992 Juliet with Delta of you for request. Cherokee 8992 Juliet, Greensboro ground, zero request. Cherokee 8992 Juliet, like a VFR round robin, uh, going to Danville, then Lynchburg, then Martinsville, back to Greensboro, 5,500. 